Welcome. I've been doing a series of videos on SSH servers and SSH clients, and I've been doing most of those on my Mac, but on in this video I'm going to be using Windows 10 and we're going to take a look at the built-in native SSH client. So if you're using a recent build of Windows 10, and I'm not sure the exact version where they added this, um, there is an SSH client and it's actually turned on by default, but I'll walk you through how to turn it on if you don't um, already have it turned on. So you can go down here to your start menu then click on the gear, then click on apps, and then click on this optional features. You want to scroll down here and look for the open SSH client and I have it here. If you don't find it here, you can go up at the top and click on add a feature and then choose the open SSH client. I'll show that again here. Uh, look for this and then install it. If you don't have it available, then you're not using an appropriate version of Windows 10. So you'll need to update. So I have it installed. So next I want to go to my search box and I'll type CMD to open up the command line. And I've enlarged the font here a little bit. Hopefully you can see it. Um, now you can just type SSH and then space and then the username, the at symbol, and then the IP address of the server you want to access. So I'll do that and I'll hit enter. It'll ask me um, if I want to continue, it doesn't know the fingerprint of the server we're connecting to, so I'll say yes. And you only have to do this the first time you connect. And then it'll ask for our password. And now we're logged into the remote server. So I guess there's nothing on here, <laughs> but um, we can exit out here. And if we type cd space dot SSH, and then dir, we're in the uh, .ssh folder, and this is just on like on Macs and Linux has the same exact thing. You see here we have a known host uh, file. So if we try and log into a server and it says the IP address um, authenticity is not cannot be established, then you want to remove a key. I have another video on that. I'll put a playlist below to my video series on on SSH servers. Okay, so as you can see, it's pretty simple to use the SSH client on Windows, and it's a long time coming. I think a lot of people that use Mac and Linux would love a, a native SSH client. Or, you know, if you are a you know Linux or Unix user, and you just work on computers occasionally, if you're using someone else's Windows machine, you can pop into a uh, terminal real quick and connect to a server uh, without installing PuTTY or something like that. So if you have any questions about this, please leave them in the comments. I'll put a link in the description of my playlist on SSH. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.